Hello, this is my MetaTrader tip of the day. I thought I would show you how I set up my blank charts so that I have a starting point to add indicators or just start trading. So I hope this is helpful and I hope it gives you a good starting point for your trading too. So this is the default MetaTrader screen when you pull up a, pull up a pair. Um, let's open this up here. So we'll just do the Euro US dollar. Pretty ugly. So let's start off with the properties. So I'm going to right click on the screen, go to properties, or you can press F8. Um, what I do is I change the foreground to dim gray. That's just the numbers on the screen. I change the grid to magenta. Where's magenta? Here we go. And that look that looks ugly now, but I'll I'll show you why I did that a little bit later. Um, bar up. I'll just leave it at lime bar down. I'm going to set it to red. Um, bull candle. I'm going to set that to lime. Bear candle. I'm going to set that to red. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of them as they are. Then we're going to go to common. I'm going to uncheck grid. And I'm going to check show period separators. And I'm going to select candlesticks. So I'll click OK. As you can see, that's a little smashed up there so I'm just gonna hit this plus um, magnification one time and there you go you have your basic candles um, no necessary grid lines a very clean chart um, these numbers and the uh, period separators are not too bright so it doesn't distract from the chart at all I like that and what I do finally after that is I save a template so we can save template and then I save mine as blank and then save and that will allow me to go to any chart and have an instant starting point so let's close this and let's open another one let's go with the uh, dollar Swiss here so pretty ugly so let's just right click on the chart go down to template blank and there you go you have a clean slate to start with so you can use this template function f to save any layout or um, configuration you want and have it come up instantly just by selecting that template off the menu. So I hope that helps and thanks for watching.